Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors. And off we go here at Soldier Field. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Well, a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. That one goes for 24 yards. Love this look to start the ball game. They empty the backfield right away, and that's going to put some early stress on both their offensive line and on the secondary. And here they get the completion and a quick first down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. From the 43, here's a second and nine. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's third and four now. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does. And the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game, like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. Now Mahomes, and that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 30. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mahomes now to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And the Bears are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be let out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. From the 35, back to work on second and four. And they'll try to run the option here. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. That may be a sneak peek on this opening drive of what this young rookie can showcase, his legs. And normally, as you start a game, 
you're just thinking, can he get the snap? Can he hand off? Can he just execute? Instead, he doesn't waste any time on wrapping another dimension to his game, showing off those wheels and picking up some nice yardage. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. A gain of three, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second down, Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. The last run went so well for them, maybe they should have just handed it off right here, too. Instead, the quarterback ends up keeping it, and the defense is right on it and wipes away the yardage gained on the last snap. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. On the option to give to Swift here. And some strong running. And room there to work it inside the 25. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. This caught by Carlson. Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle's going to leave him about a yard or so short. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. And, Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they wind up getting four there on fourth and one. I love those plays, fourth and one. That's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. No score after one on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. A loss of two there, second down. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Now Williams, off play action. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Gerald Everett from three yards out. And the Bears post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. 
This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That ball caught. It's Rice. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. An opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. That one goes for eight yards. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And it's caught. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Pacheco is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley.
Kelly. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, and they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. They go play action here on first down. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. It's Joshua Williams with a pick. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. Well, these guys hardly got a chance to catch their breath after the quick turnover, but I doubt they're complaining much. Especially with the field position they get to start with. I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them because now you have an opportunity to make a big play. I'd say I'd let's be aggressive and go after him. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Here's Pacheco. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14 to 7.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get about 14 out of that one. And we go to the two-minute warning. Here's Williams on first and 10. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. Williams looking to throw on second down. That complete hits Tyler Scott with it. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 37. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Williams. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That's complete right side to commit. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Well, they'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. Back to throw again. And Allen's got it. And he is going to have the Bears first down, it would appear. Yes, he does by a full yard. They get the conversion on fourth and two. They only needed that one yard going for it on fourth. I got to be honest, I thought they were going to stay on the ground. They surprised me. Did they surprise you? I'm with you on that one. I thought they'd find a way to create some type of a power run and try and pick up the first down. But they decided to keep the ball in the hands of the guy who could throw it, and it paid off. Yeah, that decision paid off indeed. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Let's go, fellas. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. They'll look to throw again. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Touchdown, DeAndre Swift from six yards away. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. 
so on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series that helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. On the return, it's Washington. And he returns this to the 22. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. But just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now here's Mahomes. And that one caught by Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mahomes going to throw. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. So thanks to the late time. Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he powers his way up past the 30. 
Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. They'll try and run here with Swift. Now he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here comes the Bears punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And you know, we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Getting had a ton of success here so far. But you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Mahomes now on first down. He's going to find his tight end gray complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. We'll put that one in the win column for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Mahomes to throw on second down. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And the throw there going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And they run the option on second down. And he stopped immediately there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. On the option to give to Swift here. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. 
Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Williams now on first down. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and one. Here's the option. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Nice pickup. Ten yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Here's a second and five. Off the option, he'll try and run with it. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first and ten, Williams. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down and a yard. Back now at Soldier Field. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. On the option to give to Swift here. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. Off the play fake, Williams. And this is caught. He hits more. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Now they send a man in motion right. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Kari Blossom game. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Bears have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Santos now to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. And now here comes Kansas City. Well, the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now second and five. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Third and three. Mahomes now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 42. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. From the 33, here's second and two. Working from the gun, Mahomes over the middle here to Brown. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. On play action, it's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and five. Here's Mahomes to throw. They'll complete this one to Watson. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Over the middle complete. That's Brown. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second down, here's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the six. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Important extra point up and through. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Chicago offense set to get started. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Now Williams throwing on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, that's a good first step, but several steps still to go. They still have time for the possible game-winning field goal. Time for them to be quick and hurry at the same time. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Looking to throw. Williams. Able to find Komet. 
Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so, but it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Second and six coming up. Back to throw. Williams. Pass complete. It's Scott. A big play looming on third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So a big one coming now for Cairo Santos. This to almost certainly win the football game. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. They'll come up first and 10 here. One final try for Mahomes. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.